for for this for you know recording and stuff because it's got a better like seat to it like it's better than a fucking stool like this if you can hear that that's my fucking old chair it's a piece of shit it's pretty much a computer chair that I acquired I don't even know where the fuck it came from I really don't it's just a chair I found in a house I was living in that I pretty much stole from my sister and well I didn't steal from her she was evicted I had to evict my sister that's just a weird thing uh, my grandma was letting my sister live in a house and uh, she got evicted because they stopped paying rent for a very long time so I had to go and I had to evict them pretty much and and it kind of ended up being a thing and when I was while I was living there because I was the next I was the next I was the next uh, rent or whatever you want to call it uh, I found this chair uh, that chair in the closet and I was like oh cool yeah oh fuck I fucked that up oh no why, why did I do no 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 I don't want to be in the corner I don't like the corner yeah my uh yeah I had to kick my sister out it was weird it was weird because her uh Boy, boyfriend at the time, husband now. Um, God, they were both really pissed at me, and I'm like, well, you know, there's actually, and I had to explain to them after a while that there was a big like legal thing about it. Is I'm like, well, our our fucking grandmother could have took you to fucking court and made you like you know pay her money. So I guess it's you know a little nicer that I you know get shitty with you than my our grandma take you to fucking court. That'd be fucking weird though, like. Granny gets pissed and is, is, you know, you know, she's got a fucking suit. I don't know if too many people have been sued. I know my mom, uh, she got, um, damn, her hands got super fucked up from the, a place she worked at before. So, to kind of make up for that, she sued because they were being dicks about it. And she got some money out of it. But, um, back then, because it was the early 2000s, people didn't know how to save their money. Fucking squandered it. Which, I was a kid back then, so I didn't give a fuck. I was like, yeah, buy me video games, bitch! I'm just so my bitch! And yeah, that's just kind of the way shit fucking happened back then. Man, fucking... I remember when I was... I remember being a little babby boy. I remember being a little kid. Oh, I used to be cute. I used to be cute when I was a kid. Now I'm a profanity spewing fucking piece of shit which you know that's whatever I kind of like what I turned into I remember when I was in high school and we're going into a bit of a personal talk here when I was in high school one of my biggest fears which I this is a I guess this is a kind of rational fear for a, like a high schooler but like when I was in high school I used to be afraid that because of like because like all my friends were fucking having sex and shit in high school and like doing all this like other bullshit like when i was in high school i was afraid that i was like never gonna it wasn't just about like having sex it was like i was afraid at some point i was never gonna find anyone at all to like i don't know anything like like it wasn't about like sex it was about like a lot of my friends in high school were dating and shit, and they had at least someone to kind of, you know, put around their arm and be like, hey, baby. I didn't. You know. And that kind of sucked. And throughout high school, I always had this weird paranoia that I was going to die either alone or without having sex. And after... Okay. We're going to get into a little personal talk here. I didn't lose my virginity till I was out of high school. I was 19, and I am now... 20, almost 21 so I lost my virginity about a year ago and I lost it to a girl this is the fucking stupidest thing ever I'm gonna tell you all a stupid story I met a girl knew her for about three weeks decided we should fuck because I was thinking with the wrong head well as I kept dating this girl I kept thinking with the wrong head and that made our relationship just kind of you know uh, yeah, our relationship went to shit, but also, we were kind of incompatible anyways, cause like, you know, you can kind of tell, like, certain, in like, in certain instances that you and a person are, like, not compatible, and the easiest way I could tell I wasn't compatible with her was, well, I was, like, I don't know, like, there were obvious things, like, she obviously was, she pretty 
fucking much um, went and made out with a dude we used to I well I used to work at the same place she was and it was a dude we used to work with and that was one thing that made me that sour the relationship but another thing was just like I don't know it's just these weird things where it's like it was it, it in the beginning it was okay but then after a while it's like that thing where like suddenly a person changes like suddenly they become someone they are completely not and you don't know what to fucking do and like this girl was like suddenly changing and I was like and I was like, what the fuck, lady, you know? And that was like, holy shit, 64 fucking percent coming. And, you know, I was like, holy shit. Because, like, so far into our relationship, she started changing. But I didn't think it was her. I thought it was me. I thought I was just, maybe, you know, maybe I was too strict. Or maybe you know, I wasn't strict enough. Or maybe I was getting too clean. And I kind of, I went literally nuts over this. Well, eventually, eventually my rational brain finally took over for a little bit and was like, because we moved in together and she's like and I'm god damn it I call my brain a she and my brain is like yo we should probably kick this bitch out and I was, I was just like I was at work when it happened and I text her and I'm like hey get the fuck out of my house uh well I was like either clean up your act or get the fuck out of my house which she chose to get the fuck out which I didn't fucking you know I didn't fucking care after a while like when it first like like when it first all went down I was pretty upset because she was the first like super serious girlfriend I had well, then after I kicked her out and I was alone for a while, I was like, man, because I moved out. The whole point of me moving out was, I'm an adult, and I'm this, and I'm that, and I'm going to do adult stuff. Well, Cody wasn't ready for adult stuff. You know, I don't even know if I was ready to fucking start having sex and shit yet. And I was just like, man. And I, just, I really had to think to myself, like, I was like, fuck. Because I really fucking, like, fucked up, like, in 2013. Like, I was like, fuck, I made bad, I made terrible decisions. And I, and at the end of all of it, I was like, ah, oh, fuck, you know. And I just, you know, after a while, I just kind of sit here, and I laugh about it now, but back then, I was like, ah, oh, fuck. It's like, ah, shit. It's like, ah, shit. It's like, why did I do those back then? Oh, fuck. I should have seen it. It was kind of breaking me. But, yeah, I was just... Oh, it just ended up happening so fast. Like, shit like that happened so fast. And I still... I've learned from that. I don't think I, by any means, am, am an adult now. But I've fucking grown from that a like, you know, and that's taught me shit, too. That's taught me that there is a difference between falling in love with someone and being addicted to having sexual intercourse with someone because they're willing to let you. Yeah. Fucked up, huh? But yeah. Kids, if you learn anything from Cody, if you're going to make a fucking decision, make the fucking right one. Really think about what you're gonna fucking do with your life, cause guess what? You're fucking, you're you're alive for an average of like seventy years, and a lot of the shit you do in life is gonna fucking affect your future. Like, you know, some guys think, oh yeah, if I fuck this bitch at a party, it's no big fucking deal. Oh yeah, when she comes back in ten years and it's like, hey, this is your fucking kid. You remember that party you went to where you fucked that hot bitch and she like stuff with her vagina well guess what that shit you did in her vagina made a fucking baby and now she's got your baby and shit and it's like ew you know but no you you know she like you no know, shit can happen i should know i've had friends who have just mysteriously been like oh yeah i now have a kid and we look at them like what and it's like oh yeah i uh went to this party and there was this bitch i was drunk so she looked like 20 pounds like prettier and oh, fuck the shit out of her vagina shit. And she came up to me, you know, like a few months later and was like, hey man, uh, you're the only uh, person with a penis I've had, you know, intercourse with in like, I don't know fucking how long, man. Well, guess what? I, uh, I might be, uh, you know, uh, growing a new uh, being inside of me. And it's like, oh.
Yeah, it's like shit. <laughs> you've got a you've got, you've got one of those face hugger babies inside of you. Holy shit, Lan. That's 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 cool. And she looks at you and she's like, "Oh my god, you fucking idiot! It's a goddamn baby!" And you're like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> you know, shit like that fucking happens. And